<laughs> but like, so sometime in life, maybe I'm just asking, was there something that got in competition between you and God that you said, man, I, even though, you know, it was blurry. So I'm going to, I'm going to go after this, this, whatever it is that, 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 um, like you talk about st- stuff in the world or whatever the case is. And like, what is the, what is the reason behind that? You think like in your own, like we all, I mean, I got mine, you know, mine was, I was trying to be somebody and trying to show out. Right. And I was trying to, you know, get a name for myself or one of the cases and be, be all of this until all that came crashing down and recognizing right. I needed to trust in God, not in my own ability or not in my own, like trying to be somebody in this. I was already somebody uh, before I was anybody in Christ. You know sure. what I mean? So just, what do you think? What, 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 just understanding that pull for you. What was that pull for you? I would say that that pool for me was validation from the from my peers. Okay. Um, seeking the validation from them, and, which was as, absolutely a mistake. That was my ignorance and uh, thinking that that would fulfill me. And like you said, that wasn't fulfilling at all. My yeah. satisfaction was never gained from that. I was constantly seeking maybe the next laugh or what else mm. can I do that will keep keep me feeling like, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be or this feels like on. And, and absolutely, absolutely running the streets and countless, countless times of doing it again. I never felt, I never felt completed or fulfilled like I did when I fully entrusted in Christ and let him be the head of my life. Mm. Never did I, never did I receive that. Wow. That's deep, man. That's deep because in the mid, that, so it almost had to be something that you was repressing, like stuffing down. Like, did you ever feel like when you was out and about that it was like, like, I don't know. Do you feel like it was like, I'm pushing something down. I, I know I shouldn't be here or, 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 you know, I don't know. Just what was this? Was it something like that? I don't know. That's you hit it right on the head. It definitely was times where I, I, I knew right from wrong. And I had my uh, faith was faith. Yeah. Like my relationship and my faith with Christ was, that's my foundation. So I was fully pulling away and pulling against that. Right. So that was just me repressing. The, uh, the values and the things that was instilled in me through Christ and through uh, my religious beliefs. Wow. Well, I think, I mean, you're not the only person. I'm not saying this and, and talking with you as if nobody's ever felt this way or lived in this country, but I just unpacking it in light of uh, talking about young faith or not. And as we get ready to uh, 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 talk about the next part, uh, I just want to hint to a little bit of it, like, like, what would you say would be one of the number one challenges of your generation? Like right now about faith and about God, about Christ, accepting and walking in that. So I will say that the first thing, the the number one priority with my, um, with my peers and in my generation is to know who God is for yourself. Mm. You, you have to, you have to know, and you will have to want to know who he is for yourself. Not, who you've been told to, not um, what you think he is, not what you think he can do for you. Who is this? Who Who is this? Who am I following? Who am I trying to be like? Who do I want to model and walk like so mm. that I can I can become or understand who I am? Because to first know who you are, you have to know who he is. Mm. So, so you're saying about this generation, it is about not knowing who they are? Or no, not-, not knowing who? Not knowing who God is. Not knowing who God is. So, what is the what is the uh, what is the thing that gets in the way? You think? I mean, we 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 all know it's sin in some ways, shape, form, or fashion, right. right? But in the context of like, like, is it because of of whatever they experienced in the church? I mean, just what, from your own peers and conversations and and, okay. and talk, like, what are they saying? Like, nah, man, what what are they saying? A lot of my peers are preaching church hurt. A lot of them are preaching really? church hurt from, yeah, from a lot of different angles, from maybe um, feeling like they're being castrated from the church and wow. being like maybe shunned from the church. A lot of them feel like the church isn't it, um, as in inviting and welcoming to the younger generation. Wow. Because there, there is in a lot of um, churches a, a, a huge age gap. The leaders mm-hmm. are maybe. 60, some <laughs> 70, some even right. 80. And you got young teens coming into, well, young young adults coming into the world and coming to their own walk with Christ who are, we have a lot of questions. Yeah. And a lot of, and a lot of, um, a lot of morals, I mean, a lot of things that we're being told, maybe we feel like, they feel like they've been shot down or, man, maybe my voices are being heard and so they leave. 
and they run and they run and run and don't want to experience that same that same hurry. That yeah. would be the number one thing that I say. I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. I mean, some of the challenges that young people face in this context is not new. Like, I've been in youth ministry thirty four years, and there is a perpetual statement like what you're saying about. Um, the gap, but the gap, understanding, lack of understanding. I'm coming in my Tims and jeans and you judging me. I'm coming in the door, right? And I may be, I may, may know more about the Bible than you do. But the reality is, is that you don't even want to hear that because of, of how you think I look, you know, coming in the door. You know what I'm saying? Um, yo, this is Church on the Block. Real talk about hip hop, the church and the streets. We're going to come back and we're going to talk through that a little bit more um, centered around, um, you know, this, this, uh, generation and what what other specific things are they challenged by not to live by faith church on the block